All right, guys, today I want to talk about these cool mirror cams that you can get for your vehicle for security purposes. And uh, although this one was supposed to be able to uh, record the front and the rear of the vehicle, uh, it's not really ideal in many ways. And I'll go through all that. Uh, got it from this company called Acaso. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to say or it's Akaso, whatever. It, I believe it is a Japanese company. And uh, overall, the quality of the whole setup is uh, very good. However, it does have its own flaws as well. And so, let's go through these flaws. Number one, I would love it to have a split screen that would allow me to see in front and behind the vehicle at the same time, but it does not have that. Uh, the only option you have is to see in front or behind the vehicle at any given time. And to see the back, you have to plug this in and you'll only see the back. Now, why is it so blurry, you ask? Well, that's a good question. Well, the problem is that if you want to set this up correctly, you need to connect the wiring for the backup camera um, to the tailgate and, you know, mess around with the wires and so on and so forth for the vehicle. And that is a big pain that I was not willing to set up. So I kind of jimmy rigged the whole system and used one of those suction cups in order to um, be able to use the camera and see by connecting it up to the window. Unfortunately, when you live in places like California and other places where there's huge temperature changes between day and night, uh, what can often happen is the suction cups stop working and therefore you get a blurry screen like this when the camera falls off your window. Um, there is another way of doing it, which is to use stickers, which is more permanent. But again, uh, when I get things for that are like aftermarket, so on and so forth for the vehicle, I try my absolute best not to ruin the actual default settings of a vehicle. Um, and there's many reasons why somebody would do this. Uh, either, uh, you know, you may have rented the car, you may have leased the car, you may have to return the car at some point, or you just want to keep the resale value of your vehicle um, to the highest point as you possibly can. So you don't want to be, you know, drilling holes into your car. You don't want to be... Uh, doing all kinds of stuff with the um, wiring which could uh, drop your resale value of the vehicle and so I don't mess with that. So my advice to people who are creating these products is perhaps come up with some better solutions or some better ways to make these things uh, work a little bit better also because it is a especially if you are old school and you like using your mirror to see what's going on behind you uh, once you have this set up, you won't be able to see what's behind you unless you force it like so. And then you have to make sure that that backup camera is working properly or, you know, uh, what's the point of it anyway. And also the thing is that, you know, we are uh, living in, you know, like, in 2021, in 2021, you should have options in here. Uh, let me see if I can get in there. In the echo. Okay, there we go. In 2021, you should have options in here to say, I want a split screen so that I can see front and back at the same time, or I only want to see what's going on behind me. I want to use this as a mirror, which would also allow you to see better than a mirror because you actually see directly outside your vehicle. Um, or I just want to see what's in front of me. I mean, these should be really uh, no-brainer options, fully integrated into the software, and I'm not sure why that isn't so, uh, and we live in a very futuristic uh, time. So anyway, if you like this video uh, and you want to help promote my videos or whatever, there's nothing you can do because um, I don't care about that. <laughs> I just really don't care about that. I make these videos for myself and I try to stay unbiased because I want to give you guys my personal experience. Whether you like, subscribe, comment, or whatever, I really don't care. 
Um, this is mostly a vlog that I do for myself, so thanks for watching. If you care to watch, feel free to continue watching. If not, well, you just ended up on a dud video, and so um, maybe you have better things to do. I don't know. See you later. Maybe watch a political video of some sort so they can um, make you extra miserable. See you soon.